you know, I'd use all these other drugs. I'll even smoke heroin, but I'll never shoot up. And I remember one day I was sitting with my buddy and he had the shot of heroin and he put it in my face and he says, you ready? And I'm like, you know what, let's go. And I'm a first generation Filipino American. So both of my parents are from the Philippines. And I connected when it came to my relationship with my mom. But when it came to my relationship with my father, I think he tried to raise me how he was raised growing up. I felt like I couldn't do anything to make my dad proud. And I would try, I will try to get good grades, I would try to be a good kid, but I felt like there was always something that I wasn't doing to earn his approval. I thought I was doing the best that I could, and I think as like a personal subconscious vendetta, I started to live completely opposite of what he wanted. And from there, just started partying, started hanging out with the wrong people. I remember I tried to hang out with the punk rockers, or I'd hang out with the Filipino kids, or I'd hang out with the gangsters. And it was me trying to be somebody that I wasn't. Um, I lost my grandfather, which was kind of the individual who raised me. And I was at a low, low point in my life. There was a point where I believe I lost hope that there is no hope for me. I already wrote myself off. And so I used drugs as an escape, used drugs to fill the void that was inside my heart. And from then I started to use heroin intravenously. And all I remember was, was passing out. And I overdosed off of heroin. And so his brother had to bust through the door and say, hey, dude, Josh, his, his face is pale, his lips are purple. You need to call 911. And he was doing CPR on me for a long time. My, my mom said he was doing CPR on me for about 25 to 30 minutes. And so they call 911 and they come and they give me Narcan multiple times. And I was in the ER and I called my parents and I told them that, hey, yeah, I've been doing these things behind your back. And I was just broken. I didn't even know what else to do. I wanted to feel anything but what I was feeling. I started to feel like I was at home. That Teen Challenge was a place where God had called me. The body of Christ is a place where I was created to be. And I was trying to find acceptance in all these other areas, but I finally started to feel like I had a place in this world. God started to reconstruct my heart. God started to change my idea of who he was, that he wasn't distant, that he loved me, that he had a plan and a purpose for my life, and that he was a perfect father. I praise God for my family because my mom and my dad and my family never gave up on me. They chose to hold on to the promises of God and to continue to intercede on my behalf and to pray that God would change my 